Buzz's retirement garage and it is our May 2024 Social Security update. Can my wife and I live on Social Security alone and not touch our savings accounts? That is the one year experiment. We are now six months into it. How are we progressing? Let's take a look. We got some pluses, we got some minuses, some things to work on. Here's the nitty gritty. So house taxes, which we talked about before on the other videos, these are all static costs, pretty much $417 a month for April, March, April, and May. Here's the May column. And as you can see up at the top, our combined Social Security income before anything is taken out, the raw number between the two of us is $3,783. $3, so the house taxes is $417, house insurance is $50 a month. This is not a monthly bill we pay. We pay these every, twice a year. Um, the house taxes, the house insurance is twice a year, okay? I just break them down so I can save that money and put it aside. Uh, water is pretty static, around $25 a month. Um, that is billed monthly, and uh, with the garden, getting into full bloom here pretty soon eh, another another month uh, be watering a lot more uh, gas natural gas has gone from April's was 95 down to 82 uh, obviously we'll see a reduction um, in the natural gas prices as the summer hits and probably in this area in Cleveland Ohio won't go back up until start trending back up until October um, Electricity, it dropped as well. We're down to $57 for this month. I'm paying 4.3 cents uh, for my electric. That'll expire in August, and hopefully I can find something um, and sign up for a year contract at something similar. Let's hope, let's cross the fingers, because in the illuminating company in Cleveland, the actual rate is 11 cents. So I could be going from 4.3 up to something hopefully not 11 cents um, our insurances we talked about before uh, I do keep for $209 I do keep a universal policy for myself $200,000 for my wife $100,000 and for my daughter uh, $15,000 so that all comes to $209 uh, we've talked about this there's been a lot of comments about it so we'll just leave it for now. You can go back to other videos and see the comments about the uh, insurance and why we keep it. Um, auto insurance, big topic with a lot of people. I am with State Farm. I do have homeowners. I do have those three life insurance policies. I am accident free for over 10 years. I have been with State Farm for 25 years. So they're giving me for my SUV, they're giving me $50, or charging me $50 a month average per month. Actually, my new bill came in and it was $293.87 for six months. So I'm actually banking a little more if I put 50 in, that's just a little bit more than I, than I should be uh, putting it in there. But <clears throat> that is a good rate. And it's because, and this is a, a com I get a lot of comments about this, it's because of what I just mentioned, okay? Long-time customer, accident-free, and multiple, um, multiple policies with State Farm, okay? Uh, Medicare, my wife's on Medicare. I'm on the ACA or Obamacare plan. So her Medicare is 175. That's a static number. It's going to stay that way probably until January 2025. I don't know what the increase is going to be, but I'm sure there'll be one. Um, we take she takes Medicare plan N for her it's $89 I looked it up for me as of right now if I took it in January when I turned 65 it's about 90 to 91 dollars so comparable for plan N as in Nancy I uh, right now I'm on the ACA gap plan which is 232 which gives me um, through medical mute or through United Healthcare and medical mutual uh, gets me dental, vision, um, 
and a deductible of around $8,500, which I cover with a GAP plan, similar to the Aflacs out there, but United Healthcare puts out a plan, it's called a GAP plan, where it's gonna, for any accidents or illnesses, um, they have a list of them uh, where they're gonna pay. So without, you know, basically without question to get the doctor's bill, they're gonna pay. So for instance, a heart attack, they'll pay 10,000, okay? So instead of me paying a deductible of 8,000 or 8,500, a full deductible, I will not only have that covered in case of a heart attack, we'll actually make a few grand off of it. So um, hopefully that's never gonna happen, but if it does, at least I'm covered for major catastrophes and I won't have an out of pocket of 8,500. Um, and that's gonna go till January when I get on Medicare. And of course my Medicare costs are gonna be higher than that. So dental, uh, her dental plan is 46 because it's not included in Medicare. Uh, cable internet, another big topic. I know, I know, I know, 235. My contract is expired basically yesterday. So I can go and look for, and I'm looking at YouTube uh, TV, and I'm looking at uh, T-Mobile Internet. Um, I can save about a hundred bucks. My wife's not crazy about this whole thing. She would rather keep, because she has probably 70 hours on the DVR of shows she hasn't watched. You know how it is, you, you DVR them and you just never get to them because you're busy doing something else. So um, that would be lost. All 70 hours would be lost. Um, and our cable, um, is, and our internet is pretty good. I mean, comparable to what we have in this area, which is AT&T Air. We don't have AT&T Fiber in here yet. Um, the T-Mobile for 50 bucks, uh, they do an internet, but their download speeds are pretty slow. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I will meet with the Cox Cable representative soon, and we're gonna try to hash out a deal Looking online at Cox, I, I don't see where I make a good deal. I can get $87 taken off by losing my home phone, losing my DVR, going down to basic channels. You know, look, I, I don't want to have to regress backwards. If 235 is going to be my cost, that's going to be my cost. Let's hope I can get a better deal. Um, in the meantime, we will experiment. Uh, YouTube TV is I think 74 bucks or 75 bucks. They have a special for 57 something for three months. So we might try that and try the T-Mobile internet with cable just to see if this works out good. We'll do it for a month and then cancel it if we don't like it. So that may be where we're gonna go so I can convince my wife that this is the way to go and save about a hundred bucks a month. We'll see. Two cell phones still using T-Mobile. Um, have not switched to Mint Mobile. Now you heard Consumer Cellular, I think it is. They just got bought out by T-Mobile, I believe. So Mint is owned by T-Mobile, but they have separate books. How long that'll stay that way, I don't know. So I don't wanna give up a good thing right now for two phones, 64 bucks, to me, isn't too bad. It's not outrageous, okay? Gas for cars, I went, I, I used a half a tank. I had a full tank coming into the month. I used a half a tank, so I'll get gas in June, but not this month. So that was a zero cost. Restaurants, we've been tracking, we're at 260. Uh, we did eat out at a couple places and uh, we enjoyed the heck out of it. So that number is probably going to stay in the 200 to 250 range every month, uh, depending on what's going on. Uh, veterinarian, it's a minus 154. Minus 154, so what's that mean? Check this out. With, using Medical Mutual of Ohio, which unfortunately I don't know if, if it's in every state, um, I have them as part of my ACA plan. Medical Mutual has come out and said you could use WAGMO, which is a pet insurance, and you can sign up for that at no cost. Okay, so I signed up for it, and Wagmo says if you took your an animal, one animal, to the vet this year, 
And whatever your expense was, we'll pay part of that. So my expense for a cat, that uh, a stray that we found that we took in to get shots and checked out, was $209. They paid 154 of that looking back. So this happened in January. They paid that invoice within like three days. I mean, I thought that was pretty cool. Will I continue with Wagmo when they start to charge sometime in the future? I don't know because it's pretty expensive. But I'm going to take that 154 credit and put it to my bottom line for this month. Groceries, still high, 988. I get, you know, uh, comments a lot of times that we're eating too much processed food. Um, hey, my weight's not too bad, huh? I'm, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not that uh, plump. So, yeah, that's high. Um, and we're going to continue to work on that. We're... We're doing some things, and I keep saying that, but we're trying like heck, you know. When you get stuck in your ways, uh, convenience is a nice thing. Gives you time, instead of slaving over a hot stove, gives you time to uh, enjoy life. So, yes, that's high, but we're going to keep working on it. Uh, no paper products and no soap products this month, because when you buy bulk at Sam's or Costco, which is where I go most of the time, it's not necessary to buy it every every month so with toilet paper uh, paper towels uh, stuff like that you can go a couple three months without buying any more um, home products 228 dollars we got our flowers for the, uh, for our planters you know the springtime stuff we bought um, so you know, I think our flowers were 123 dollars out of that 228 Pet products was only 108. I am running low on bird seed. I'm waiting for a sale at Tractor Supply. But the other thing that we did was for um, the cats, we are not buying, or I should say, we're buying less litter and we're using the pellets from Tractor Supply. The cats are using, we're trying on both right now. We have a few litter boxes. We're doing 50% over here, 50% of the uh, pellets, 50% of the regular litter. I buy 40 pound bags of litter off of Amazon, Dr. S. Esley's, I think it is, and that's uh, about 20 bucks a bag. So at Sam's and Costco, it's about 25, so there is a little bit of save, savings there from what they offer. Um, so we're trying to get them, the pellets cost $6.50 for a big bag of pellets, and uh, like I said, half the cats are, or more, are doing that and doing their business in that those pellets which is saving us a ton of money but I still got to get my bird seed for next month because I'm running out haircut I didn't get one it's getting a little shaggy um, entertainment so I took some people's advice hope this board doesn't blow over oh there it goes good thing I had my hand up there huh we're getting occasional gusts of winds here in Cleveland Ohio um, the entertainment, I took somebody's advice and I scratched off lottery <laughs> and they told me to put entertainment, so that's what I did. So that's mostly uh, lottery. I spend about 100 bucks a month. Um, I do have some winnings in the past, so this month I'm going to be actually down 100 over the year. So uh, you can look back to my videos last month and the month before and see where I'm at with lottery. Um, but I did win uh, $400 net. So that takes me through January, February, March, and April. Breaks even. Uh, May, I'm down 100 bucks. So newspaper, we're on our second month of not having it. We're saving $38 a month. Um, our newspaper is just, uh, it's not that good anymore, and it's a shame. I used to deliver the Cleveland Press. A long time ago in the afternoon, I delivered the Cleveland Plain Dealer in the mornings. Um, the paper has just gotten very different. So, at any rate, uh, it's too bad. Medicines and, and vitamins, this averages around 40 bucks. She's on a Medicare uh, Plan D through WellCare. If you go on to um, when your Medicare is up, uh, when you can, you know, restart your uh, plans, um, you'll see on the government website, Medicare.gov, you'll see the plans that they offer, that are offered. All you got to do is click on them and sign up. 
and the well care plan is zero per month and uh, the costs are really low on the medicines that she takes and uh, mine is a little different because I'm on the ACA plan but I take uh, just a couple things that are pretty low cost so that works out for us right now uh, clothes she bought a lot of stuff last year um, she hasn't purchased anything this year although or I should say in the last few months although um, she's getting a bunch of catalogs from different places so yeah people still send catalogs believe it or not miscellaneous about hundred and eighty nine dollars that's just for um, building a fence uh, just doing some different stuff that uh, uh, throws I throw that into the miscellaneous category so our total costs were 3508 our income is 3783 so we have a net gain of 275 now remember that 154 helps that number out otherwise it would be lower uh, if you can see this at the bottom and I'll do another thing here we're at a six month average of $64 a month negative which means I've had to take out of the bank in the last six months I've had to take $384 out so that's not too bad now, why am I doing this experiment because I got to see if I need to go back to work or not you can go back to other videos and see why I'm trying to do this but I'm trying to figure out does it make sense to stay retired or should I pad my bank accounts just a little bit more um, to take care of some you know maybe some surprises that could be coming up now you don't know what I have in the bank um, I'm not a millionaire um, I am comfortable but not comfortable enough to just ignore my monthly expenditures okay um, so <clears throat> here's a quick cheat sheet okay so you can see uh, January was a big one because we have some litigation going on which our attorney charged us some uh, you know a decent fee and some other things so uh, March was was uh, I have to go back to look at March where is March is up here so March was what was the big thing for March hmm I don't know what the big oh Pet products was 320. That was a that was a big hit because we bought a lot of litter. We bought a lot of different stuff, so that was a big hit. But this is where we're at right now. And I wanted to announce, if you followed me this far, if you come to the conclusion of this video, I want to announce that because we're over the 10,000 subscriber mark we are getting some some decent views on the videos um, I am going to do a giveaway maybe uh, once maybe twice a month um, we will give away $25 gift cards and we'll do that on two videos um, as it stands right now we're gonna do it on for sure one but I'm thinking I'm gonna go with two videos at $25 a piece so we will work out the plans when I mention it on a, on a, in a video in June I will tell you how we're gonna do this because I really don't know how I'm gonna do it yet <laughs> but world money wins he's a guy that collects silver he had a way of doing it which um, through comments so I'm gonna see uh, what the best way to do it is but we will have a giveaway for $25 gift cards next month probably two of them so we'll be giving away 50 bucks and that's coming out of my youtube earnings which we're not counting here okay that's side hustle all right this is just can i make it with this my bank accounts are doing well uh, hopefully yours are ours too hopefully you're getting some interest hopefully you're in the s p and you're seeing the uh the rise i do have a stock that uh is doing well for me it's called gmgi Finally, it's uh, it's getting legs and, and taken off, um, and some other stocks and it's, of course some mutual funds that are doing fairly well right now. So, um, you know we're blessed to have all that going for us too. So, let's see how the next six months go. We're at the halfway point of my experiment. Let's see how the next six months go, and we'll go from there.
Any questions, comments, put them down. Let's talk. Buzz's Retirement Garage for May. Take care.